Hi, my name is Raquel, uh, Raquel Duque, and uh, I'm from Mexico. And from from Mexico, I come to get pretty today. <laughs> <laughs> in the Netherlands. In the Netherlands, okay. of course, in the beautiful Netherlands. In the beautiful Netherlands, free country still. Free country. Yeah. We I too, hope so, yeah, I hope also forever. <laughs> Otherwise, I'm gonna fight for it. Freedom is yes. the most important thing in life. Yes. Can you turn around so you can see your hair? Sure. We're gonna not change a lot on your hair, but made it a bit more smooth, sexy, and we're gonna change your color. Yeah, maybe something like that. Yeah, a bit brownish, copper brownish. Yes. Okay, thank you I very like, much. I like her, her color. Yeah, I, I think it's, it's also a very nice woman because she's yeah. also a bit. Um, manly but it's also very feminine so yeah. I really love that uh, yeah. yeah you you cannot say uh, yeah. it could be a, a man also a nice man yeah thank you for uh, turning around and thank introducing you. yourself start on you hello YouTube got me a model from Mexico <laughs> and I got myself a, a new cape it's from 12 recycled bottles and it is in the bottle, so this you can also recycle. And I put a photo of it into the video. So here you have a green kit. So I really love green thinking, and we recycle everything in our shop. So the hair is um, colored and not colored, uh, the plastics, the aluminium foils, the tubes, everything. So let's start on uh, with a recycled kit. It's a nice bottle, you can make a note into it. Yeah, it's a nice bottle, but the most important is this, made from bottles. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like I always do, I'm starting with the cut. I'm going to do the cut with a hot razor, because then I get the most wonderful soft lines. Mm -hmm. She wants to have this a little bit soften and a bit more in the flow. And the front will be not much shorter, but still in the flow. Yeah, let's make it shorter. Yeah. Let's make it a bit shorter. So I take my neck paper mm -hmm. and close my cape. Start the wetting the hair. Now, like most Mexican girls and boys, she has a lot of hair. <laughs> I do. Yeah. But Strong hair. But it falls a lot. I like my, my hair falls a lot, a lot. Yeah. I don't understand why. I of course, it's hair like it is. Yeah. I also didn't wash my my hair for a lot for since Monday. Okay. In the case to protect it, I'm not sure if that was okay or was bad. It's always okay. Okay. So set up the hair on the back, about two centimeters above the skull bone. Gonna start there. By building up on the skull, so I lay the hairs nicely on the fall. Turn a bit so you can see where I'm going to start. Mm -hmm. uh, hot Racer is a product of Ego. Now watch it the fall. Her hair curves into that line, so I go also into that line. Watch where the skull bone is and go in on the skull bone so you get a nice shape of a bob. Take a lot of weight off. So I soften the underlines. And you can hear she has strong hair. Because when you do uh, European hair, you don't hear the knife working. And her hair is two times thicker than our hair. So that's why you can hear it. But the beautiful thing is working with the knife is you can shape the hair like you shape a clay. I never thought it was not, uh, not quite normal that the hair does, does not sound. No. No, it's two times thicker than our hair, so that's why you hear it. Mm. Yeah, because I, every time I always have a haircut, I always hear the click click, you know, in the yeah. hair. In a second, I'll show you the difference between the right side and the left side. Pull the neckline nice and soft, so you get a nice overflow, not hard lines. I really like it when the shape is looking natural, especially on bobs. 
So when you watch on a hair now, you see this is not done, so it is almost the same length. And here I have a beautiful shape on the skull bone, so I have the curve into the lines of the skull. So there I work also on this side. Go in on the center. Told you the hairs walk like that, so I go in the same length, same way, same fall. Go wet in between. Nice and quiet here in the studio. <laughs> If I, if, I, if I can talk or not. Oh, you can really talk. Not Mexican or Spanish, because I don't understand the word of it. I only spend, stand, understand Speedy Gonzalez and Yipa Yipa. Yipa, 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 only Americans had problems with the Spirit Gonzalez, but it's like, Why? wow, I really love Spirit Gonzalez. Oh yeah, I really like too. It's like Popeye. Yeah. I really love Popeye also. And I really love to eat Spanish. Yeah. Get the strong of it. Yeah. You know who I also like a lot? No. Uh, well, it's it's French, but it's aesthetics and uh, aesthetics. Asterix and Oblix yes, in is the Dutch uh, word for it. Yeah. So now watch how beautiful the neckline is. Go a little bit near the body. So now you get the softness and the beautiful shapes of a skull because uh, it's getting more in a shape. I'm going to turn a bit to the side, you can see this. So you have volume on the fall of the, the skull, but you get the shapes real nice into the neckline. So you have a beautiful bob afterwards. Open the right side. Take a new line on it. <laughs> Wetting the hair again. So now I have to find a way to bend into that line. So take the hairs over the center line, go in, hold my knife nice and flat, and gently go in. And the beautiful thing is because she already has a color into her hair, I can see really nice how the hair falls. I hope that is satisfactory to see. What? I hope that is satisfactory to see for, oh. them, for, for them. Oh, yeah, it is. Everybody is unique, so you are also very special. Special to me also from the first day I saw you. Ah, thanks. You're more than welcome. Without even knowing that you're the girlfriend of Speedy Gonzalez. <laughs> I am not. I am, a, I am the girlfriend of a really nice Dutchman. <laughs> the flying Dutchman. The flying Dutchman? Does <laughs> he fly? Really fly? Well, he likes airplanes, so... Oh <laughs> yeah, but the most boys do. I really like it also. Flying is a beautiful thing. Yeah. Planes are beautiful. He flies gliders, actually. Uh-huh. Yeah. So that's why we can call it the Flying Dutchman. Okay. <laughs> Go over the line. Take the hairs on the center line to the side. So hold them in an angle of 45 degrees. Slide a bit high up. And then go into the fall of the skull lines. And the lines are just created. Sorry. Water. Did you feel water into the neckline? A bit. No, yeah. but it's fine. And laying every time the hairs into the roundings, so near to the skin. And just shape, beautiful shapes. In the meantime, watch at all the lines, because I really like to lo look at lines of the skull, the shapes. And when I not get inspired, I watch at the ears, because I really like ears. They are really wonderful. 
this is the last line on this side. Take it over again. What I told you, start at the top. Lay the hairs on the roundings. So I use the natural roundings to guide me through the hairs. Soften all the lines. So now I have a beautiful chin line, pop line. Take some hair off the top, lay it to this side. When she throws the hairs to this side, this also the same length, so I don't have difference in length. When she goes swimming or to Mexico or something like that. Which I will. Yeah. <laughs> home sweet home. <laughs> no, bitches, sweet bitches. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think when you go home, it's beautiful to go home. Yes. It's always with your home country is the most beautiful country it is. Yeah. Even when there's just dust. And cactus. <laughs> well, mine doesn't. It's only dust and cactus. I okay. Live, I live from a really um, Pacific Ocean. Coast. Okay. Oh, that's nice. Yes. So. A rough girl. <laughs> yeah. So it has. Ocean such, girl. Yeah. It's a little seafood. Yeah. Nice. So nothing better than that. What comes from the sea. Yeah. So now you have the difference between one side and the other side. So now I'm gonna work on this side. Wet it again. I think sharing is the most beautiful thing you can do in life. Definitely. Someone that only passes. Only takes, yeah. brings nothing. Exactly. Also on this side I take of course the same line as the chin line. Pin the upper hairs up. Again, go on the line. Lay the hairs to the center line. Start in the center line. I lay the hairs nicely over the rounding I created. When you see the fall of the hair, it's a little bit different. So, for example, this side turns a little bit in. I use this also because otherwise I get a strange effect on the fall of the hairs. So, I use the roundings that travel in. Let's show you that a bit. So this travels in, so I go in, take the hairs on the line and leave them where they need to be for cutting. Wetting in between, front, and work till I get on the chin line again. Cross control, only by the part behind the ears. Then take a new part on. What I really would like is the sound of trains or working people but without music in the studio. It's hard to find a rhythm without music. Mm. You're right. But you know when you when I hear this it's kind of like ASMR. Mm -hmm. You know? Mm -hmm. Kind of like satisfaction is just listening, maybe mm -hmm. Yeah, there's a lot of people who are very excited about the sound of a sizzle. Yeah. Because it's such a nice sound. But a sizzle can also be uh, destroying a lot. Yeah. That's true. But yeah, that's true. Yeah. However, something is true. Hair always grows. Yeah, that's nice on hair. And when you don't try things, you only live once with this body, what we told you in front. So try everything. Everything you want to try, try it. And not holding by a boyfriend or a papa, mama. No. You say, don't do this, you have beautiful hair. Yeah, thank God for that. <laughs> that. <laughs> I had all the colors there are in the map of coloring. 
because I always try it first on myself, so that's why I may be bold, but I really like to color my hair. And don't know what's the outcome of, of it is because then you learn a lot, but just write it down so you can yeah, take back what you did. Mm. Otherwise you don't learn anything. And life is one big lesson. You learn every day. That's true. So start with Mexican. And the good thing is that you always ended up learning yeah. about colors also. Yeah. I, I always learn every day. I learn of the people. I learn of, about the beauty of love. Mm -hmm. The caring. I really love to care. It brings out the most feminine li lines in myself. And I really like it. I never put on nail. <laughs> Cause never. <laughs> I feel like a blue lagoon today. I love your hair, hair nails. Color. Yeah. It's really nice. Yeah, I, myself, I really like deep red. Deep red. Yeah, because it's more feminine. So I like the feminine side, but I'm, yeah, I'm a straight guy. So. Yeah, like in scarlet or vermilion. Mm like uh, uh, how do I, uh, uh, wine red mm, okay. I really like the, the deep red colors yes it's a really beautiful color. yeah so now I have all the lines done so now I go to the front so I turn around go that way love otherwise we get stick in the wire wet the hairs take them over from about two centimeters of the center line, take them to the sides just to control. Softly go in, don't take off much, just the ultra fine part. And the beautiful thing is that she can still put the hairs behind the ears if she likes to. Then I take two centimeters of this side to the other side, go to the other side. <laughs> Fastest mouse of old Mexico. <laughs> yeah. Leandre. I forgot my uh, sombrero. I have a sombrero. I also have a sombrero. <laughs> I have a green one with silver. Uh, yeah, beautiful things on it. I once. Uh, get it from a staff member of mine. Mm -hmm. She went to went to Mexico and yeah, she brought me that. Oh, that's so sweet. I also have one, but it's uh, it's at home. I should have brought it. Maybe Why? next day. To feel at home. Yeah, maybe <laughs> these sombreros, these big sombreros, are normally for for charros. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, or for mariachis even. Yeah, I think it's a lot of show because. Wearing a sombrero like that, what I have, is not uh, feeling really comfortable. No. It's, it's hard. Yeah. That. It's hard, but it's something like um, like a character, like building a character. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's, uh, it's, like, it's exactly like you said. Mariachis or charros are basically what they are. And especially in the part, uh, depending on the part of Mexico, uh -huh. they... Um, the sun can be really, really hot oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. and really dry, so... Yeah, but then you don't need my sombrero. No! <laughs> you can... <laughs> I don't know. You dry out. Yeah. And dark green. <laughs> I don't know, maybe you can, you can, you can be spotted by, by an eagle. <laughs> <laughs> I take the upper hair totally to the back, on the center line, and connect also this to the baseline, so take all the hairs to the back, bend them on the line. It's not much, but I think it makes the bob perfect, so that's why I do this. And the beautiful thing is working with a hot knife, her hair feels really nice and soft and sexy and feminine. That's why I like to work with hot tools. It does feel like that. Yeah, it feels a lot better. Your hair feels like hair. And there's no stacking and nothing. So, for so far the bob. So now I can make her a call. A 
let's dig in. Yeah, sexy. <laughs> it's a beautiful bob. Yes. It's a lot of hair off. Yes, I also love. It. Even my 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 boyfriend says I love you. Doesn't no matter what color your hair is. Oh, okay. Yeah, but that's a, that's because she's a Dutch guy. <laughs> yeah. I say, I don't oh, care. Oh, what we're going to do is you're going to set you a, um, a wig on with, with blonde hair. <laughs> Wait a minute. And then you sent them that. Wait a minute. I think. In front for a minute. Yes. Yeah, and just with your fingers. Then you look like a Mexican girl who's trying to get a millionaire's man. From America. I feel like a gold digger. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but also I like a gold digger. Yeah. I, and you see this on girls who like to to, to be with uh, wealthy men. Yeah, that's true. It's also a bit like Dynasty in the early days. So when you make a photo of this for yourself, with your cell phone. I feel like Marilyn. <laughs> You can take a photo with your ca uh, camera on your phone. Oh, sure. That you can send them. What do you guys think? It's over. <laughs> this is the final result. The final result. So, but <laughs> a lot of you know <laughs> I have the same <laughs> week sometimes. Damn it. <laughs> it suits me also nicely, but I, I really like cap. Yeah. So start, shall we start on your hair? Yeah, besides your, your red, you, you cut my hair, so they, they wouldn't believe that. <laughs> No, it's too long. And, and the wrong call. Mm -hmm. How does it feel? It feels really nice. I really like it. Put on protection for coloring. Now make a photo of the color she has. Not this color, but what I made for her. Because it's a mix of colors. I made it with uh, 20 volume. That's six uh, percent. In the Netherlands, we use percent. All around the world, we use volumes. Start on center, lay all the hairs on that, and then go the other way around. And there's a deep conditioner into the color. I always use conditioners. Mm. I want to have the best result for him. When hair feels like rope, it's no hair anymore. <laughs> when hair feels like what? Rope. Rope, yeah. I agree with that. When your hair feels like an rope, it's wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> and then I did it. Yeah. My last name, Knoop, doesn't mean anything to people in America or England. But it's a button or nut. Nut? Yeah. That's enough nut. I really prefer button because I have a son called Jim. Uh -huh. So and a lot Jim of button. Americans know Jim Button. The Jim Button. Yeah. He also told me that story. Yeah, I, I, when I was on stage in Germany, they are uh, yeah they must read Jim Button and see Jim Button after World War Two. It uh -huh. was on all the schools and still is on schools. So when I stand there, I look like Meister Proper. That's a cleaning guy. Proper is a cleaning product, um, and I always tell them I'm the father of Jim Knopf. Jim Knopf is Jim Button. Mm -hmm. So the old guys come to me and the little children, and I have to do greetings to my son. But my son is of course white because I have a, a white woman, <laughs> and my sperms are also white. So, <laughs> so I make only white children. Would be funny when I could make a China girl or a boy. Or I don't think that would be. Even oh, possible. I would really like that because I would have like to have uh, balls that can do this. I think we, we would not discriminate anymore because you don't know what you get. So you give only the character on a person, but not the color. Would be wonderful. We don't like all the colors because. Uh, you are what you are. You're right on that. Yeah. Sorry. Color doesn't decide which kind of person you are. Yeah. Good or bad. I think it's also important that people can feel themselves within the color. No. No? I think you don't have to, to be a color. 
I know I'm white, but inside I'm also black because yeah. my grandma was uh, a slave oh. in France. Yeah, I'm not my grandma, but uh, not, yeah, two, yeah. three hundred years ago. Yeah. So I have a little bit black blood in me also. Oh. And when I was dancing, they called me also the white Negro because I have blonde <laughs> curly hair. And I dance like a Negro. Yeah. And I, I can feel the rhythm also. It's very hard to stand still when I hear music. I want to dance. I went thing. all over Europe to dance, only to dance. I feel less in love to dance. Oh, I really loved it. I think dance is the most beautiful expression of the yeah, world. Yeah, it's also very nice to do. Mm -hmm. But you couldn't get the earning with it when I was young. But it was with a lot of things where you didn't earn anything. But uh, then you do it just for fun. Yeah. It also feels really nice eh? what the, what you're putting in my in my head is those feels really Yeah, it's really nice. soft. Yes. It's also no smell coming off, so mm -hmm. it's a soft product. But I still it does a good job. Is this a bleaching or no it's not a bleaching. I don't need bleaching now. Okay. Otherwise it would damage the hair too much. Yeah. And I'll try to get a combination between the colors still in your hair because the part of the color is uh, shampoo colors. Mm -hmm. So I'll try to get near to that. And then we go heating this up for 20 minutes. Okay. Yeah, not with a flame or something like that. Through the hairs. Not go over the skin, stay a little bit away from that with the teeth of the comb, just combing the hairs. Then lay it open again so it gets some air into the hairs. You can already see the colors a bit changing because it's going to a golden, yeah, golden colorish color with a little bit of copper in it. And it's around a six color. Close this, we go for a coffee or tea, and you just stay there because we're back in less than a second, of course. Gonna, don't go and let you wait for 20 minutes <laughs> on the end result. So we will be back for styling and tell you all the things we did. Oh. Hi. <laughs> we're back. Took a little bit more than a half hour, not because the color was not ready, but because we are talking to each other. <laughs> and we have a lot of in common when we talk, so we love to talk. So now I'm gonna dry the hairs, so I can find me uh, something to mm -hmm. protect it. So I take off uh, like me, I take uh, a shape. I really love the product because it comes from Spain, so it smells a bit like the Mediterranean. Mm. It's a bit sunny. It smells nice. It smells really good. Yeah. Take a medium brush and a blow dryer, of course. Starting in the back, building up. Pick out. I like to, st to start in the back, but then you cannot see the color. And then building up to the front. I'm impatient. <laughs> yeah, a special shampoo? Yeah, I would take a brown shampoo. Okay. Because uh, it's always French front. Yeah. But it, it holds the colors into the brownish lines. Yeah. It's really beautiful, brownish, cold copperish. I don't know, you, you give me the shampoo. I, I'll uh, buy it. Brown. I'll buy it. I love it. I feel really, really different, but sexy and it's different. I like it. Yeah. I, I, it's like if I look more beautiful. Yeah, I like this.
nice thing. Your hair is so beautiful, strong. Yeah. So far, blow drying. Now we come to the most beautiful product in the world, I think. Golden it? oil of Lanza. Smell. Mm. Wow, it smells really good. Yeah. Really, really good. I think it's the most sexiest oil there is. It nurses the hair really because it's a heating uh, oil. Yeah. So you tell me how should I, what I, what I should use. Can I use any kind of conditioner then? You can. Okay. Because For example, then. I then. Yeah. Okay. I normally use Garnier uh, Natural. Okay. It's also good. Yeah. But if uh, the only thing I need is more uh, a brown. Yeah. Uh, okay. Get rid of small hairs. Yeah. In the neckline. Yeah. Can I ask you for a favor? Can you? I don't know. I was going to say if I did this, but no, it's good. No, this is, that must be not shorter because now the lines are really beautiful. Okay. But you see that afterwards in the photos. Yes. I like it. I, I look really, I feel really sexy actually. <laughs> now I thank you for being my model. And yeah. thank you for watching. Whole yeah. Mexico hopefully watching also. She will turn around and show you the end result and we see each other next video. Bye bye. Bye. Can we turn it off? <laughs> Can we turn? Sure. And then I'm going to show you your hair. Thank you very much. Hi, my name is Raquel. Uh, Raquel Duque and uh, I'm from Mexico. And from, from Mexico I come to get pretty today. <laughs> <laughs> In the Netherlands. In the Netherlands, of okay. course. In the beautiful Netherlands. In the beautiful Netherlands. Free country, still. There's a lot on your hair, but made it a bit more smooth, sexier, and we're gonna change your color. Yeah, maybe something like that. Yeah, but brownish, copper brownish. Yes.